Christina Emily, and I'm a registered dietitian. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm using one of my favorite spring vegetables, asparagus, in an easy three ingredient pasta recipe. This recipe is a spin on the viral baked tomato and feta pasta, but instead of using tomatoes, I'm using asparagus. And instead of using feta, I'm using a creamy, soft, herb and garlic flavored cheese. This pasta is full of flavor and so easy to make. So let's get started. I washed and broke off the stem of a bunch of asparagus spears. Since the spears can be dry and tough at the bottom, you want to get rid of that part. You can either use a knife to cut about one inch off the bottom, or bend them at the bottom and the woody part will snap off. Next, I cut the spears into about one inch long pieces. Place the asparagus in an eight by eight baking dish and drizzle with a little bit of olive oil and a pinch of salt and give it a good mix. Next, we're going to put 150 grams of cheese into the middle. If the asparagus looks a little bit crowded, don't worry. This is actually going to help prevent it from overcooking because now we're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. While the asparagus is in the oven, prepare half a pound of pasta according to the package direction. Before draining the pasta, be sure to save some of that starchy pasta water because we're going to use it later in the sauce. I like to save about one cup. I like using this Scooby-Doo pasta because I find the sauce sticks well to it, but you could also use bow tie pasta, fusilli, or penne. So I've just taken my asparagus and cheese out of the oven, and you can see how it has started to melt and the asparagus is bright green. I'm going to mix it up and add a bit of pasta water. I start with about half a cup and mix it to help make the sauce nice and creamy. So a little more. Now I'm going to add my pasta. Good mix to combine everything. If it looks a little dry, you can always add more pasta water. Mm, look at that, so creamy. And now the best part, tasting. Mm, so good. I hope you give this recipe a try soon because your whole family is going to love it. Yum. Yeah.